guys, my name is Dewi Averars and I'm going to show you around Indonesia. Remember that line? Yup, that was exactly two years ago, exactly at this very same spot. And this time the episode is going to be about the public transportation in Jakarta. Jakarta has a lot of options for public transportation, varying from the most economical to the most convenient. It all depends on your budget when you come to Jakarta. The first one is the Transjakarta or what people would call with busway. It costs 3,500 rupees but you'll need to buy a card like this before and this one costs 40,000 rupees. With this card you could go throughout Jakarta. It has a lot of corridors and famous ones might be the Monas, the Kota Tua, Ragunan Zoo. But don't worry about the corridors because you could just easily ask the staff. If you happen to be in Jakarta on the weekend, then you can take these double-decker buses behind me. They're for free and you could go to the National Museum, the National Monument, and even to the shopping centers like Grand Indonesia. For close distances, you can take a bajai, and for these bajais, they don't go through the protocol roads. And you have to be very clever in bargaining, guys. I bargained from 20 to 15,000 rupees. Let's go. Jakarta, a city that offers a lot of practicality. Like me right now, I am ordering my online transportation. If you also wish to have that convenience, you just have to download between Uber, Grab, or Gojek, which you also can choose your vehicle between a motorcycle or a car, depending on your urgency. And right now, I am at the landmark of Jakarta, the National Monument. While I'm waiting for my driver to come, I'm going to enjoy the scenery. The cheapest way to get around Jakarta is by train. Besides connecting you from one spot to another within Jakarta, our commuter lines also goes to Bogor, Depok, Tangerang, and Bekasi. But do check out for each station because some stations only take you from one city to another. Right now, I am in front of the Java Sabang, or right now it is called the Museum Bank Indonesia. And as you may already know, Jakarta is really hot. So if you prefer to have a convenient way to go throughout Jakarta, then you can take the taxi. There are two big companies in Jakarta, which is the Bluebird and Express. Jakarta, besides being a very crowded business city, Jakarta is also very famous for tourists. As you can see behind me, it is very crowded. And right now I'm standing at Kota Tua or the old city of Jakarta, where you have a lot of museums and old buildings. Hopefully all of the information of public transportation in Jakarta gives you a good reference of Jakarta. Everything is presented by iIndonesia, where you will see Indonesia from the eyes of the locals.